In this video, I will show you how to use HackRF, a software-defined radio, to trigger restaurant pagers. These pagers are made by a company called Long Range Systems. I have these connected to a power supply because the internal batteries are bad. This is model number R8500. And this is one of their newer pagers, which has a reprogrammable uh, pager number uh, interface on it. This is model number RXCS7. This is a software tool called Inspectrum. It allows you to view radio signals. I loaded in one of the pager uh, files here to show you what the radio signal looks like. The pagers utilize FSK, frequency shift keying, and it, you can actually see the on and off transitions here in the signal. This is a software tool called Universal Radio Hacker. The software tool allows you to visualize radio signals. It will also allow you to make measurements, giving you pulse widths. It will allow you to decode the data here. And it also has analysis capability. You can generate signals with it and also do simulations. I highly recommend this program. You can download it on Git. Here is the packet format details. The pager requires a preamble to wake up the pager. That is a bunch of sequences 101010 followed by a header FC2D followed by a restaurant ID number, and this changes per restaurant. You have a system ID to set this to zero. Pager number. In this example, it's pager number 19. These bytes here to set these to zeros, these are used for reprogramming of the pager, and we won't get into that in this video. The next byte, uh, 44 tells the pager to beep three times. There are more of these settings. You can make the pager beep, vibrate, flash the lights. You can get this information on the Long Range Systems website. The last byte is the CRC. The CRC is the sum of all the hex values divided by 255. And here is the full data packet in hex. This is the decoded data packet in binary. The pagers utilize Manchester encoding. Manchester encoding is a data scheme where a 1 is converted to a 0, 1 and a 0 is converted to a 1, 0. You'll see here that this packet has been converted to Manchester. I added additional preambles to the beginning of this packet and I also added the zeros at the end of the packet to serve as a delay between the transmission of multiple pagers. I wrote a Python program that generates the Manchester data packets. Here I enter the restaurant number and the pagers 2, 6, 7, and 10. And I will make them flash for 30 seconds. Okay, so the data file has been written. This is GNU Radio. I have my input file configured. I'm frequency modulating and I'm saving the data to a file and also sending it out HackRF. When I push the green start button, you will hear four radio transmissions 
and four pagers will go off. If you send a page to pager number zero, all the pagers will go off at the same time. Let me show you an example. Restaurant number one, pager number zero. Okay, the data file has been created. Okay, we're back at GNU Radio. We're going to send a page to pager number zero. You should hear one radio transmission and four pagers will go off. Most restaurants nowadays are using long range systems new pager. This pager has a programmable interface where you can program the pager ID. I have GNU radio configured for pager number 19. In my GNU flowchart, I have the frequency modulation block connected to a file sync. Whenever I run a data transmission through here, the modulated data is saved to this file, and the file name here is called output. If I want to, I can take that output file and I can convert it using the CSDR command shown above. When I convert the file, I can use a standalone program called hackrf underscore transfer to actually play back the signal without having to use GNU radio. All I have to do is pass some arguments to it. The sample rate, which is 2 million, dash T for transmit, the output file, the frequency to transmit on, and the RF power level. This is pretty cool. Because with the single uh, command hack RF transfer, I can actually run this on my Raspberry Pi computer. <laughs> 